how does that feel in front of that atmosphere and so many people packing in to see you? Do you feel like you gave them the, the show that they paid for? Yeah, I think so. I think it was an exciting game. Obviously, two really good sides, France as well, a very good side. So I, I think it was a good game to watch and exciting. I think both ends there was chances and, um, yeah, obviously we got a goal as well and that's what people come for. They want to see goals So and the win. So I, I hope it was a good one for them to watch. Got a bit physical out there in the second half? <clears throat> yeah, it did get physical and I think that come from frustration as well from maybe their side as well. We, Like I said before, we forced a lot of turnovers and they're probably... Not too happy about that, and yeah, naturally you get frustrated. Uh, there was a lot of Australia's four attackers being left, you know, four v four, and then France trying to try to tempt you into the long ball. Is that something you talked about at half time? Um, not really. We said the the space was there um, in front of them, and if they wanted to come, then obviously it's behind them. So it was just about us finding those gaps. And I mean, if they want to leave us four v four, couldn't be happier with that. So um, yeah. And what about when Yeah, no, she is. She's a workhorse and, um, yeah, players like her on the pitch are, are great to have and, you know, they're just going to work and give it everything and she did give it everything tonight. And your position <coughs> changed in the second half there, drifting out to the left. Uh, well, I guess what changed in terms of the team's approach and your approach in the, in the second half? Yeah, I think it was just Mary coming in, um, in the 10. Obviously, we know she's great in there and I can go out wide as well, but we do have the freedom as well. So there were times that I was back in the 10, she was out wide and... Um, Yes, yeah, it's, it's kind of free flowing, whatever, whatever's working. And in terms of coming up against the players of, of France, do you think you'll meet later in the tournament based on what you saw out there? I don't know. I mean, we'll wait and see. We'll just focus on us and take it one game at a time. But if we do, yeah, we're ready. Carolyn, what's it like having confidence that you know, you've got someone like Mary coming off the bench and so much squad different? How much confidence does it bring to you and the group at large? Yeah, no, it's, it's massive. I think that is one of the big key factors in the good feeling in this squad is knowing we have depth, knowing that we can rotate players and still be as strong. And yeah, that's what's most exciting and um, maybe what we've lacked in the past. And Tony's initial <coughs> reaction, you had a chance to speak to him afterwards? Um, yeah, he just said obviously good performance, but um, not to get ahead of ourselves, which we obviously won't. But um, yeah, this was just obviously a warm up game and next week's the one to go. So just to stay humble. Thanks, guys. <coughs> uh, wow. Well, how did you find that out there with the new centre-back partner? How the Wizards building the chemistry on the fly? Yeah, it was really good. I've spent a lot of time with Alana uh, over the last you know, four to five weeks in camp. So it's been building that connection with her and also maintaining that connection with Polks and also building that with Ivy. So to finish off the game with, I suppose, Polks and Ivy and having Alana out there with me for the majority of the game, it's building connections with all those girls in the back line and to keep a clean sheet, it's wonderful for us. Is that group any of the wiser as to who's going to start the opening game or is it still a mystery? It's still a mystery and I think that's the way football works. It's Tony's decision and we're just putting our best foot forward for you know being in the 11 and wherever we land in that, it's just about supporting the team and making sure that we can get the win. The game was pretty stretched out there. Was it any nervy moments for you at the back given that you know, you had a lot of space to cover in behind a lot of the time and there's a lot of pressure coming from the front when you had possession. Yeah, I think they, they press quite well and quite aggressively and that's part of their game and that's what they're very good at. But I also think we counted that with our press as well. So it became a fairly transitional game and a bit scrappy at times. Um, but I think we dealt with it well. We covered space in behind well as a back line and I think we recovered, I suppose, from errors that we were making more in the first half than the second. But I think overall it's a positive performance for us. And what kind of challenge did the Sommer pose to, to Mark? Um, yeah, she's extremely technical, very good at coming in, receiving the ball. Um, but I think we nullified her ability quite well with the back line and to come away with a clean sheet makes me happy. So, At the raw yeah. win, uh, when you scored, is that like anything you experienced before? Uh, not so much. I think when we played Spain at Combank, it was similar to that. But I think having 50,000 behind you and knowing that we're going to have, I suppose, 20 to 25,000 more next week, it's so exciting and it's amazing to see the growth of women's football here in Australia. So defensively, what was the most important part of this performance? Because it was a clean sheet against a world-class attack. So what was the most pleasing aspect for you as a defensive line? I think for us, it's the way we covered ground. I think we maintained our lines quite well. We dropped together as a unit. We covered space in behind. We, I suppose, followed in uh, Lusama as she checked in. So for us, it was 
just nullifying their abilities and making sure that we cover space and behind. And I think we executed that quite well tonight. That is correct. <laughs> I think it's just processing on the go and understanding my role in the team and it's just taking on an opportunity when it comes. So for me, I'm just excited to, to be here and represent my country and regardless of my experience, I feel like I just want to obviously be commanding on the park and, and do my job. And 50, yeah, I think it gives us a warm up and it gives us an understanding of what to expect with the World Cup. Um, I think it was a great hit out for us. Obviously, there's things that we can be working on um, in leading into next week, but I think overall it's it's good to come away with a win. Beautiful. Beautiful. Clean sheet, one win against France. Could you really ask for anything more out of this set of games? Uh, probably not. Um, to come out against such a tough opposition, um, France are up there amongst the world's best. So to play a send-off game in front of a sellout crowd, to get the win, to keep a clean sheet, uh, was really important for us in, in the lead up to the first game next week. In that second half, you seem to move a bit more central. Is that something you guys have been working on? Is that something you're comfortable with? Because I think we all assume you're running down the wing for uh, the best of times. So is, was that something you guys have practiced on? Um, yeah, I have played in the nine on and off before. Um, have trained it a little bit. Um, I'm a natural winger, of course. I like being uh, by the sideline, but uh, to be versatile is ex extremely important and to have different players who can move into different positions um, across the park, we're quite versatile. So, um, yeah, it's just a bit of a, bit of a shift of formation, um, of personnel, sorry, but um, I think it worked, as you could see. So it's, it's good to be able to do that. I think so. Um, for us, we love playing in front of a home crowd to see the green and gold, um, to hear the noise in the stadium, to have a packed out, to have a packed out house um, for your send-off match is is so special. So we we thrive in that environment. So yeah, it was it was really special, and we can't wait to basically get going and have a packed out stadium next week. Does it feel real that it's about to start after all of this anticipation? I think now it does. It's, it's been coming around for a really long time. There's been a lot of build-up and a lot of hype, but uh, we've been preparing really well. Um, we've been preparing for a number of years, really, if you think about it. So to have it finally here and ready to go is, is so exciting for us. So, yeah, we're definitely ready. Does that feel like a World Cup game out there? Um, yes and no. Um, I think having the crowd, um, it was all... a about preparation so so for us it was about preparing getting minutes um, having the crowd playing in front of that stadium so I think it was most importantly just a really good send-off for us Talk us through the, the goal and the assist. <laughs> um, I was just saying if you if you find Mary in the box she'll score so I could hear her yelling and I saw her out of the corner of my eye um, but we like to play um, on the break so for us to to get in behind like that and yeah like I said play in Mary and it'll be in the back of the net it seemed like the reaction from the other players said it all to her, to her goal. It seemed like a bit of a special one for everybody. Yeah, it was. Uh, to have somebody come off the bench and play like that and to score, to get the winning goal for you, um, you know, it takes a whole team, not just the, the starting 11. So, so important to have those game changers who can come on and, and do the job for the team like Mary did tonight. Thanks. Thanks.